Hello, welcome to plsql02pro.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'll explain you the concept of a variable. So, what's a variable? Variable is simply a placeholder in the memory. Okay, uh, the placeholder is something that will uh, store some value in it. So, you create a placeholder by declaring a variable, and later on, you put a value in this placeholder. That's called initialization. You initialize the variable by putting some value in it. So the value goes in the variable so that you can refer to that value anytime later on in the program. Okay, and you can replace the value as well by putting some another value in the variable. Just keep one thing in mind a variable can only store one value at a time. So if you're putting some uh, other value in the variable, the previous value would be thrown out. So just imagine variable as a box which can only include one item in it at a time. So the new value goes in, the previous value is uh, is thrown out, okay? So for f the variable 1 now contains the value 4, 5, 6. So you can declare multiple variables in your program, each variable containing some different value. You can refer to these values uh, in your another uh, at, uh, through other statements in your program. For example, variable first name contains text literal Hassan and the variable score contains value uh, number numeric value 85 so always use single quotes if you're putting text literals in the variable just like you saw in SQL tutorials you can uh, you should give reasonable names to your variables however there are some restrictions the name cannot exceed, exceed 30 characters name should always begin with a letter okay you cannot begin a variable name with a number uh, name can contain alphanumeric characters only uh, spaces and uh, reserve operators are not allowed okay actually there are some exceptions to this rule here that the name should contain alphanumeric characters only uh, that's what you should stick to though okay uh, but you can put some some special characters like number sign and things like that uh, names are not case sensitive okay just keep that in mind the whole PLSQL and SQL language is not case sensitive the only case sensitive part is the text literal values uh, reserved words cannot be used for example f uh, example of few reserved word is a declare select is, is used in select statement uh, so you cannot use that part in uh, in as a variable name because the compiler will get confused are you trying to write a select statement or is it a variable name so uh, that's why I always put prefix my variable name by v underscore to uh, you know avoid all these problems. Here, here are a few examples. The legal variable name, uh, v underscore first name. Uh, this is what I prefer, and this is a normal uh, you know standard used by a normal convention used by most programmers. Just put v underscore and then variable name. Variable hundred is fine. Hundred is uh, like number but not used in the beginning it used at the uh, you know uh, the, the beginning of uh, this variable name is a letter though that's that's compulsory you cannot put one in the beginning that will be a problem apartment number like this is what I was talking about you can use some non alphanumeric characters here but uh, it's you should avoid that uh, as much as you can so these are a few examples of legal variable names Th these are examples of illegal variable name. Variable name cannot begin with a number. It has to begin with a letter. Okay, you cannot use a space in the variable name. First uh, space name is illegal. Select is a key is a reserved word. Cannot be used as a variable name. Like plus sign is a non uh, alphanumeric reserved uh, or operator, right? You cannot use plus here, for example. So if you start your variable name with v underscore and you don't put any space and just give logical variable names uh, less than 30 characters long, you should be okay. All right. Otherwise, Oracle will let you know. So let's do some hands-on. So you understood the concept of a variable. Let me just uh, show you a, a small uh, PLSQL program that will illustrate the point. So let me just log in. Uh, I'm I've logged into my Oracle Express application, so SQL, SQL command. So let me write uh, a, a PLSQL program. So PLSQL program has uh, three sections: declare, begin, 
an exception so in this program I'm not going to use exception section so this is the structure of the program also, good practice always put a structure first and then fill everything in uh, so let's declare a variable uh, here let's say first name okay and this variable can hold uh, varchar2 means this variable can hold alphanumeric values if this variable would will only hold numbers then you should name you should give a type uh, as number okay so f the convention is you uh, convention is you write the variable name first then after a space you give the type to the variable so the type here is varchar2 it can hold up to 30 uh, 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 a value up to a 30 character long and you have to put semicolon at the end of uh, each SQL uh, each PLSQL command so we just declared a var variable there now what we're gonna do in the begin sec uh, section this is the program body the actual commands in declare section all you do is declare variables that you will be using in the begin uh, section okay in the program body the first thing what we are doing is we are initializing uh, the variable we are putting some kind of some value in that empty box so let me put my name there okay so this is like less than 30 that's fine you must be wondering why do you have to provide a limit here okay that's how it works because Oracle as soon as you declare a variable Oracle reserves uh, the uh, some space in the memory of the computer uh, so it Oracle needs to know how much to reserve uh, how big bigger box Oracle needs to create because variable is just a box okay virtual box in which uh, values will go in so Oracle has already uh, like not right now as soon as you run the program Oracle will reserve this space so Oracle needs to know how much space to reserve so we have initialized the variable okay so this is a symbol here uh, in which uh, the symbol here to initialize variable so or to replace value in the variable so this means we are putting this value in this variable okay so this is uh, an assignment operator in which you're assigning a value to the variable now let's see uh, let's print uh, the value of the variable to the screen or display the very uh, the value in the variable to the screen by using this command dbms output port line oh, let's just uh, put a sentence here is first name is concatenation sign so what this line is going to do it's going to just display this whole this whole text to the screen and what this text is the first is a text literal first name is then, then we have a concatenation sign and then we are basically whatever value this variable has will be concatenated to uh, this text literal and the whole thing will be displayed on the screen okay so what we should expect on the screen is uh, something first name is Hassan Mir that's what we should expect on the screen if I run this program if it doesn't have any syntax error so first name is Hassan Mir okay so you saw here an example of, uh, of a variable we declare the variable we first name we put a value in the variable called assignment this is assignment uh, symbol here but we initialize the variable initialization is when you put a value first time in the variable that's called initialization and then we tested the value of the variable by displaying it on the screen and uh, and you saw first name is Hassan Mir displayed here now let's replace the value in the variable first name why should we forget about Larry Ellison okay so now what we're doing at this stage we are putting a new value in in the box that we created in the memory so Hassan Mir is going to be thrown out and Larry Ellison will go in and again we are testing the value of the variable so now we should see two statements first name is Hassan Mir then we should see in another statement first name is Larry Ellison because when the first statement was executed the value in the variable was Hassan Mir and when the next statement was executed the variable uh, the value in the variable was Larry Ellison let's see okay so first name is Hassan Mir first name is Larry Ellison so you see an example of declaration of a variable initialization of the variable 
replacing a value in the variable and we can replace the value multiple times let me copy paste okay it's not that you can only replace it uh, only once okay so now Bill gets it in the picture as well see so in the next tutorial we will think make things more complicated and uh, gradually in a step-by-step -step manner you will become an expert in PLSQL I see you in the next tutorial